if you ask a local at the Jersey Shore what the best time of year is, of course they're going to say summer is great, but everyone's favorite is the fall because the crowds are gone, the weather is still great, and there's so much to enjoy outdoors. We took our kayaks up to Batstow Village. There's a lake that goes into a branch of the Mullica River, which is an excellent place to go kayaking. These are our kayaks. We got them shortly after we bought the tiny house because kayaking was something that we wanted to do more of. We bought them on Craigslist. They are 12 foot long Ely Sound 120XEs. And we got them because we wanted to do some overnight kayaking trips, kayaking and camping. They're 50 pounds, so they are heavy, but that was the price that we had to pay to get a large enough kayak for us to be able to fit our camping gear for overnight trips. It is a beautiful, perfect fall day, and we've taken our kayaks up to the Basto Lake, and uh, we're gonna get out and do some paddling. In the past, I owned a canoe at one point, and I also had inflatable kayaks, and I've rented all sorts of different models of kayaks over the years, and these are by far my favorite. Once you get past the heaviness of them and they actually get into the water, they glide beautifully. They move really quickly, they are easy to paddle, easy to steer, and that size with that special compartment in the back makes it very nice to bring gear with you. Now before this starts to sound like a commercial for these kayaks, they don't actually make them anymore. The company was bought out by Pelican. So we're just letting you know what we like about our kayaks and why we picked these. So if you're looking for a kayak, you can think about similar things. We started out paddling upstream, which has worked out really well. <laughs> well, we got a better arm workout. We don't have to do the whole move the car thing so that we can pick ourselves up later, which is nice. And uh, now that we've gone up far enough, the easy part is ahead. I just haven't filmed that much because it's really hard to take the camera out because as soon as I would stop pedaling, I would start going backwards. So <laughs> hopefully on the way down, I'll get to video a little more. Patrick was obviously having a great time and we came along some more carnivorous plants, some pitcher plants, but just when I was sitting there soaking in nature... <gasps> oh my god. It's in, it's in the canoe. It, oh. <laughs> I looked down and a very large spider ran under the seat of my kayak. It's hopeless. Yeah. You want to trade kayaks? Yeah. <laughs> Patrick was nice enough to trade kayaks with me so I could continue along with the paddling trip and enjoying peaceful nature. But if you've seen our other videos, I don't know what's going on this year, but I have never seen so many gigantic spiders in one year, ever. It's like the year of the spider, but let's get back to paddling. Sometimes the water level in these little rivers can get pretty low and it makes them impassable, 
especially toward the end of the summer. And if there's too much rain, sometimes the current is just super strong so that we probably wouldn't be able to paddle upriver the way that we did earlier. But today, everything was pretty much perfect, besides the giant spider in my kayak. Do you want to get out and check it out, or you want to keep going? I keep going. I'll keep going. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty muddy. The water was really clear today. In the Pine Barrens, we have something called cedar water, where the tannins from the plants that grow in the area soak into the water, and it makes it kind of a rusty tea color. And that can be so strong sometimes it will actually stain your clothes if you get wet. But today the water was very clear. You could see through to the grasses and the plants at the bottom just moving along with the current of the water. One of the challenges that I found with other kayaks that I've had in the past is that it could be really difficult to paddle against wind, especially my inflatable kayaks. That was too much of a challenge. If the wind was blowing, it was really hard to steer. These kayaks have such low friction when they're in the water, even if it's windy and we're paddling into the wind, it's still not that bad. So that's important because in South Jersey, a lot of times it's just windy. You gonna go make coffee? Yeah. Yeah. I think actually we could, and then go back on the water. Mm-hmm, sure. Even when we go out for a day trip, we tend to bring our camping stove and our camping chairs, and we found that they really come in handy. Even if you're just out for the day, it helps you to stay out longer without having to run home to get food. This was the first time that we used the All Trails app for a paddling trip, and it's nice to see they map out where you went and how long you're on the water. So we did just over three miles of paddling. But then we pulled the kayaks up and found a nice quiet spot next to the river, pulled out our camping stove, and I brought some things from home to make chicken tacos. So it was nice. We didn't have to rush home. We could enjoy the nice weather and get something to eat. Our camping gear really comes in handy even when we're not camping. Just having it with us gives us more flexibility and helps us to stay out longer so that we can experience more. Since we had eaten, we had time to go over to the historic village and walk around for a little bit. Now, everything is closed because of the pandemic. Normally, these buildings would be open, you could go inside of them. They have very fun festivals at Batsto throughout the year and Patrick's brother actually does some blacksmithing here during those festivals. So hopefully one day we will be able to come back to Batstow and give you a more detailed tour. We just walked over to the bridge to see the lake from the other side during sunset, but 
that was it for today. It was time to head back home because we did have to let Redford out. So we'll see you in the next one. And coming up, we have our trip to Gettysburg. And then we're going to be doing some winter camping with our scamp. The next president to be The news and watch here your career It's time for you to face those fears And it's all fair To be aware and I'll be there So don't be scared Just take a deep breath of air And one, two, three to ten You begin to focus again In the 